Hey guys, how's it going? Pound here. Welcome back to my garage. It's awesome to have you guys here. So today we're starting things out in my car right outside of my driveway. It's about 85 degrees in here. Let me just pull up. Let me see. Let me pull up the forecast real quick. Today's weather is about 84, 85 degrees. It's pretty sunny outside. It is a little windy outside, but this is also a perfect day to really talk about today's video sponsor, Samurai Shades. So Samurai Shades sent me their full set of sunshades for the 10th gen Civic sedan platform. In addition to the sunshades, they also sent me a magnetic foam mount, which actually I'm using right now to balance my phone to view the feedback from this GoPro right here. But in just a moment, I'm gonna be showing you guys how easy it is to install the sunshades and this foam mount. It should really only take you guys five to 10 minutes. This install requires no tools, and since the shades are cut to fit each window precisely, it is easy to distinguish the shades from each other. Starting at the front doors, insert the bottom lip of the sunshade just behind the top of the door panel as shown. Now set the top of the sunshade against the window frame of the door, then tuck the outer lip inside the window frame as shown. Now these shades have magnets that are strategically placed inside the outer lip. They help secure the shades inside the door frame, so you might need to readjust the shades a little bit to make sure that they all make contact to the window frame. Now the installation of the rear door sunshades is similar to the front set of door shades. Replace the bottom lip just behind the door panel, but shown here I needed to push at the center of the shade to help set the lower corners inside of the window frame. Then we simply tuck the lip of the sunshade inside the window frame, again making sure all the magnets make contact to the frame. The rear window sunshade is the easiest to install out of the five sunshades. First we place the bottom lip of this sunshade just under the window as shown. On the top lip of the sunshade, it has a convex section that can be tucked under the headliner as shown to secure it in place. Now unboxing the magnetic phone mount, the kit is comprised of a custom molded frame for the dashboard, two metal plates that can stick to your phone or phone case, and the magnetic mount itself. Begin by taking one of the metal plates and adhere it to the inside surface of your phone case. You can use more than one if you'd like to increase the magnetic surface area if you wish. Now be mindful of the surface finish of your phone and make sure to clean any debris from the phone and phone case before putting everything back together, just to avoid any scratches on your phone. To install the frame of the mount, align the top edges of the frame to the dashboard, centering it over the hazard light button. Press firmly on the bottom edges until you hear the locking tab snap in place, securing the frame to the dashboard. Now take the magnetic mount and slide it into the frame as shown. And finally, tighten down the mount to your desired position. So hopefully you guys found that the installation of the sunshades and the phone mount was fairly straightforward. So in the past three or four weeks or so, I had plenty of time to really test how useful and how effective the sunshades and the phone mounts are on my daily commutes. So let me just spitball what I think on these products. So starting with the sunshades, the sunshades do a great job shielding you from the sun. They do exactly what they're advertised to do. And in my opinion, they're really easy to install and remove repeatedly. So in the install, I was just being a little bit careful installing these for the first time. But after using them for a while or so, I found that I can be rather rough removing them and installing them. You don't really have to be so picky about how it aligns in the window frame for it to be secure. Now, full disclosure, I did receive both of these products for free uh, but the retail value I believe for these sunshades are $85 and in my opinion that's a really fair price for five sunshades and in my opinion I believe $85 for a set of sunshades and it makes it a budgetable alternative to window tint specifically if you are looking to tint your car for the sole purpose of kind of shielding you from the sunlight a little bit better okay so to evaluate how these sunshades hold up on the road I want to start by saying I'm not responsible for any sort of sunshades flying out of your car or if they're lost on the road. Now the reason why I say that is because I found that the rear sunshades, that includes the rear door sunshades and the rear window sunshade, um, they actually hold really well because the rear window doesn't really roll down all the way so it adds that extra layer of security so the sunshade doesn't fall out of the car. However, for the front two door shades, I found that if I'm resting my arm on the door card like so and the windows are all the way down, my elbow can accidentally push the bottom of the sunshade out and if I'm on the road, of course, that can effectively pull the sunshade out of the car entirely. The quick fix to that is to roll your window up probably two to three inches so that it secures that bottom edge of the window shade. Okay, so to evaluate the design of these sunshades, 
I really do enjoy that Samurai Shades had a cutout in the front door shade so that you can clearly see out the side mirrors for safety. And it's also nice that for the rear window sunshade, they left a little cutout so that if you have a third brake light, like you see in non-SI uh, sedans, it will compensate for that geometry so that it fits perfectly. Now, my only peeve with the design of these sunshades is the fact that they're not too portable. I've seen universal sunshades that can be folded up and then stuffed into a small bag so that then they can be conveniently placed in like a glove box or your trunk. So it'd be really cool to see an updated design that features something more portable. Now for the front two door shades, I actually found that they can conveniently fit right between the front seats and the center console. So that's a pretty nice coincidence. But anyways, I'm not trying to be too picky on the design. I really do enjoy these sunshades. They do a great job and I can really enjoy the weather with the windows down. I don't really personally like AC to be honest. I'd rather much enjoy the fresh air. So these shades are a great addition to my car. All right. Okay, so now that we're back home, let's just quickly evaluate the phone mount. Now to evaluate the phone mounts, as it stands right now, the phone holds just fine. However, I noticed that when you rotate the phone vertically, you can see that the wiring is touching the screen. Now I have a different type of cord here. Before I had the stock cable that came with this phone and the actual cable while the car was on was interacting with the LCD screen and pushing buttons and doing things that I didn't want it to do. So that's the only downside physically with the placement of this phone mount because it doesn't allow the cable to have a good kind of clearance away from the LCD screen. The only solution of course is to rotate the phone sideways so it's out of the way. In addition to that, another solution I can think of is to run the cable right behind the actual center console and behind this trim piece right here so that the cable comes up behind and plugs into the phone underneath rather than in front of the screen. So besides that issue, I do like the design of the phone mount. I like that it incorporates a seamless mount around the hazard lights. And I like that you can actually exchange the magnetic mount for probably like a different mount that kind of clings onto the sides of the phone. The only issue that I have with the actual magnetic mount for my phone case specifically is the fact that the phone case has a walnut insert and it's a little bit too thick to allow an optimal attraction between the metal plate and the magnet. I just think that my Pixel 3 XL is a little bit too big of a phone to use on this phone mount. As I'm driving, the phone kind of shifts down as I hit bumps and stuff, and eventually when it catches the LCD screen, it just pulls off the phone mount completely. Basically, to sum up my thoughts on a phone mount, if you got a small phone, thin case, this phone mount will work perfectly. If you have a thicker case and a larger phone, the only solution that I can think of to best use this product is to mount the plate on the outside of your phone or the outside of the phone case. Depending on how the surface is on that phone case, you might need a different adhesive. But that's just my closing thoughts on the phone mount. Okay guys, so that wraps it up for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again Samurai Shades for sending me these products. I really do enjoy them and I highly recommend them. The phone mount in my case might need a little bit of finessing in order to get it to work for my needs. But overall, I'm very happy with how they perform. And I'm excited to see how they stand the test of time further on. So if you guys want to stay even more up to date with all of my content and behind the scenes stuff here and there, don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Facebook as well. Again, guys, my name is Powen Song, and I will catch you guys in another DIY technical video. Bye.